Hi everyone! I just want to welcome you all to my first ever painting video. It has been a really long time since I've done a project like this, and I'm super excited to share what I've done. It's been a long time since I've taken an art class or even practiced art on my own. I used to paint a lot actually. I used a lot of acrylic paint but never learned how to use watercolors properly. But I had the chance to pick up and try a new skill, so I've kind of been on a painting spree testing out this new medium and using helpful tips from other artists on YouTube and such. Honestly, to all of you watching, if you've been like me and lost the motivation to paint or draw or do any kind of art project that you were passionate about before, I say this is your sign to get back into it. I'm making this video for myself uh, to help with my motivation, but also to help you guys watching who maybe lost motivation or never had it at all. <laughs> Funny thing, actually, I think one of the things that led to my loss of motivation would be the fact that I always struggled to find someone who would teach me painting skills. I can actually remember when the art classes were cut from my elementary school. I remember when I was in kindergarten and first grade. I had a wonderful and fun art teacher. Every Friday, my class would go down to the art room for about an hour of art learning. We would draw and color, and our art teacher would help all these little five-year-olds learn to color in the lines and what colors would go best with what. But then, in second grade, the art room was closed and locked up. I remember asking about the fun art teacher and was simply told that she had left the school. We no longer had fun art Fridays. Of course, being just a kid, I didn't know what was actually going on and figured that maybe next year we would see the art classroom open up again and maybe we would get a new art teacher. That never happened. I left to go on to middle school and my elementary did not have a proper art class or teacher like they did my first two years there. I come to find out several years down the line that the reason my art teacher had left was because budgets were cut and if she had stayed, her salary would have been cut as well. So she left and with her, so did the art class. My elementary school, however, is not alone when it comes to their art classes being cut. Art classes are being cut left and right from schools and have been cut for several decades now. For example, during the 1999-2000 school year, 20% of schools offered dance and theater classes, and 87% of those schools offered visual arts classes. After these budget cuts were put into place during the 2009-2010 year, for example, only 3% of schools allocated funds for dance, and only 4% offered theater opportunities. School funding for the arts has slowly been dwindling over the years, and I have been seeking a useful way to combat the decline. My personal way to help combat the fact that I did not receive a full arts education when I was younger was to learn a new art skill. I decided to learn watercolors. It is an easy skill to learn, but can be hard to master. I've been watching YouTube videos of other watercolor artists, and I've even bought myself my own small set of paints and supplies that I can use even after I fully finish this project. This project has definitely been a lot of fun for me. I've always been an artistic person, and now I've gotten the chance to learn a new artistic skill. Watercolors is a rather calming form of art, I believe. With watercolors, it is so easy to make a pretty background on a canvas and make the colors easily blend together into a nice collage of colors. Other paint mediums, such as acrylic or oil paints, can take a very long time to dry, or can take a lot of effort to blend. Watercolors, you can just put a light color onto a surface and it will immediately blend with other colors since it's all water-based. Acrylic paint is much thicker and takes a lot of skill to blend. Watercolor does take skill, don't get me wrong. But when it comes to blending and waiting for colors to dry, it is far faster and does not take as much skill as acrylics or oil paints do. As I said before, it is an easy skill to learn but hard to master. I've seen people create beautiful realistic paint paintings and portraits out of this simple medium. I've not learned to do that. Absolutely not. I'm just a beginner. But I find it amazing how such beautiful images can come from just some water and some pigment. Truly, I believe this is what students are missing when they do not get a proper art education. They miss out on the sense of wonder and the sense of accomplishment that comes along with having learned a new artistic skill or having completed a beautiful painting. The arts are all encompassing, however. They include painting, but also singing, dancing, and the theater. Students miss out on so much when they do not have access to the arts. Can students gain accomplishment and a sense of pride from other activities such as sports? Of course they can. Sports and academic achievements can often bring as much fulfillment as the arts can. However, just because a student can di gain different skills and a sense of pride from sports and academics, it does not mean that the arts are null and void in a student's life. Students need the education that arts bring them. 
The arts such as theater and marching band can bring physical benefits that help keep students healthy and active. But the arts also bring intrinsic benefits, which a student might experience engaging in pleasure as an intrinsic benefit. An expanded capacity for empathy and cognitive growth are intrinsic benefits that stem from the individual and group instruction that is elemental in arts education. Which essentially just means that students miss out on skill-gaining opportunities where they can learn empathy and collaborative skills, as well as the skills that come along with learning a new creative medium and how it strengthens the mind. When students do not have these art classes, they lose out on these intrinsic and physical skills. However, not all hope is lost for the arts. School districts in California have started to take notice of their art classes slowly disappearing over time. And, in an attempt to reverse the impact of years of budget cuts and a state and national emphasis on math and English test results, some 70 education officials, art advocates, teachers, and principals will unveil a blueprint designed to renew California's battered K-12 arts education system. This blueprint is called Create CA, or Core Reforms Engaging Arts to Educate California. But California is not the only place integrating these new art forms. A charter school in New Orleans has started picking up similar ideas. Just watch this. The general idea of arts integration is to appeal to different modalities of children's learning. So um, they get to get up and use perhaps skills and things that they love or are drawn to, theater, dance, visual arts, music. And we find that when you put both things together, it, it sticks. I mean, they, they remember things, it's in their body memory. Schools have started to take notice of the fact that students no longer have these art skills, so they are encouraging students to begin to use the arts to remember things they have learned. The charter school is having the students sing songs. Making music and using the arts to build math and other skills. That's the theory here at the Renew Cultural Arts Academy a public charter school in New Orleans. Not long ago, one of the lowest performing schools in Louisiana, a state ranking near the bottom in the nation. These schools are just two examples to show that people are beginning to notice the growing problem of the arts being cut. But these schools have come up with plans to help stop the decline of art classes and are bringing the arts back into the classroom so that it will benefit students. I know I certainly would have benefited from more arts education growing up. I loved the art classes that I did get to take. And I know I was a lucky student to be able to have art classes later on in my education, such as in middle school. A lot of students now are not so lucky. But I hope you all watching have enjoyed my art project. If any of you have struggled to find your artistic passion due to not having a lot of access to the arts through school, or even if any of you have simply struggled with artistic motivation, I hope this helps you find your passion again, like it did with me. If you'd like to learn more about how art programs are making a comeback, then all the information I've given can be found in the description below.